and Tazewell counties along with the Illinois Department of Public Health to notify anybody who may have had contact with the man. I spoke with residents in Woodford County today and asked if they would alter their daily lives with the coronavirus so close to home. No, not really. I mean, you know, common sense, washing your own hands. I mean, even before this all happened, of course, it's common. Um, I think people have kind of lost their minds a little bit, but it is what it is. I think it's ridiculous. Now they're closing schools down. So where are these kids going to go? You know, unless you got a computer and you can be online, you're not going to keep up with your studies. How far is it going to go? Local officials do urge residents to avoid going out and staying home as much as possible. Back to you. All right, Gabby, thank you so much. Well, we do continue our team coverage with Caitlin Pearson, who was at a Tri-County press conference in the wake of that first positive COVID-19 case here in central Illinois. She was there and joins us from the newsroom with what you need to know. Representatives from the Woodford, Peoria, and Tazewell County Health Departments, along with officials from Unity Point and OSF, say they've been working tirelessly to make sure they're prepared for what will likely be more cases of COVID-19 here at home. The experts say it was not a matter of if, but when a case of COVID-19 would be found in central Illinois. This is something that we really did expect. When you look at the global uh, changes, when you look at the national changes, we knew that this day was going to come someday. And so it is, it is today. They say canceling events like the IHSA Boys Basketball Tournament and St. Patrick's Day parades is the best way to limit the virus's spread. Their plea to the community beyond following good hand washing and social distancing is to contact their doctor if they're showing symptoms. If you are having a fever, chills, call your provider. Don't rush to the hospital. Don't rush to the emergency department. Local hospitals are working to protect patients and employees. At Unity Point, this will involve restrictions on visitors. Not admitting any visitors unless they're determined to be critically essential to the patient's well-being. We know there are needed exceptions for that. Some of those exceptions would be end-of-life care, childbirth. OSF and its Children's Hospital are implementing their own set of rules. So typically it would be down to one, one visitor per patient, and they may actually be screened as well, and that might be required before they can enter the facility. And we might enter into a, an, an era where we're actually screening our own mission partners or employees before they're allowed to take care of patients. Representative Ryan Spain said he's working to get relief for those in need and says people can call 211 if they need services or can provide them. So if you're a local school district that uh, is looking for uh, assistance in delivering meals uh, or you're a community organization providing services to the elderly, please contact my legislative office. Now, officials at the press conference did say that tests are available, but not unlimited. The tests are being prioritized to patients with more health risks and pre-existing conditions. OSF also launched a chat bot that will listen to your symptoms and follow up with questions. We have information on that on our website, week.com. All right, Katie, great information. Thank you. Well, the number of cases of COVID-19 are growing across the state. Governor J.B. Pritzker announced today 18 new cases in less than 24 hours, bringing the state's total to 64. Now, Springfield's mayor also confirmed a patient was admitted to Memorial Medical Center there. They're critically ill and in intensive care. A second patient has also been identified and tested at an outpatient facility. Details, however, are still pending. Not, not, uh, excuse me, until they notify their family. And so far, there are two cases in St. Clair County in southern Illinois. Both are women in their 60s and 70s. A Cumberland County man is also tested positive. He is 70 years old. But state leaders say tests for COVID-19 are still in short supply, meaning they just cannot test everyone who wants it. That is changing, though, as more places do begin to have testing capabilities. We are starting to see laboratory results from commercial labs, which means we could see a dramatic increase in the number of positives over the coming days and weeks. Yesterday, Governor J.B. Pritzker announced that schools in Illinois would be closing starting this Tuesday. Residents are also being urged to stay away from large gatherings and engage in what we're calling social distancing. The governor also expressed frustration, saying many people just are not listening. We saw a lot of crowds out and about today. And I need to be frank, we can have a massive positive effect on bending the transmission curve, thereby saving lives, if people will take this seriously. 
Pritzker also reiterated that social distancing helps take some of the burden off of local health care facilities. And despite urging the public not to panic, Governor J.B. Pritzker also says many across the state still are not taking coronavirus as seriously as they should. And that appears to ring true for some in the River City. Pritzker called out people in Chicago who still went out for St. Patrick's Day, saying even if you're young and healthy, you should do your part to prevent the spread of the virus by staying home. And in Peoria, we, we did also find some folks out and about still celebrating too. That includes a couple of runners who did their own version of the Blarney Blitz. That event was canceled today along with the St. Patty's Day Parade to prevent to prevent the spread of COVID-19. However, Tina Moss Baker says she does not feel as concerned as everyone else. We're going to run and then drink and probably get something to eat. Yeah. That's probably <laughs> usually what we do. Usually what we do every year. I understand.